What do Bellarmine tennis, lacrosse, and baseball all have in common? Well, aside from the fact that they are all prominent sports teams at Bellarmine, each of them has at least one Canadian athlete. In total, Bellarmine has roughly 15 athletes representing countries all around the world. There are athletes from Bolivia, Australia, Germany, Israel, England, and Spain. However, majority of Bellarmine's student athlete population comes from Canada. Bellarmine has in total eight athletes representing Canada. Despite their international status, these student athletes are just like any other normal college student. However, there are some major differences in between the two cultures. I caught up with a trio of Canadian lacrosse players who enlightened me on some of the difficulties they have being a foreigner. Money. Um, ours is colored and looks sweet like Monopoly. And your money is real confusing. It's all the same color. It sticks together. <laughs> I just find it hard to actually get the money out. Like, because in Canada we have like coins, like loonies and toonies. And when I'm looking through all my bills in America, it's hard to decipher between dollars and twenties. So, and hundreds, of course. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, hundreds. Aside from money being a slight issue for some Canadians, there are aspects of the U.S. culture in which they favor. I caught up with senior women's tennis player Evan Westchuk, where she enlightened me about her big move from Winnipeg, Manitoba, down to Kentucky. Well, I was first approached by a friend who had already been going here on the tennis team and he told me to come down for a recruiting trip so I met with a coach and I instantly just uh, fell in love with the campus and the team and I really liked the atmosphere here so that's why I decided to come to Bellarmine. Similar to Evan, after just one recruitment visit, sophomore catcher on the baseball team, Mike Bellavo made the move from Calgary, Alberta to Kentucky to fulfill his lifelong dream of playing college baseball. He talked with me a little bit about one aspect of Bellarmine that helped ease his transition in moving abroad. Uh, I mean, I have a bunch of friends down here now and, and, uh, and obviously my friends back home and that kind of thing. But, uh, you know, it, it just being on the team like this, you basically have a brotherhood. You know, this, these are my friends, these are my family right here. So, I mean, that has been awesome in the transition that uh, I have made to come down to the U.S. to play ball. But, um, yeah, they've just been a big help in regards to that. For the most part, Canadians and Americans live a pretty similar lifestyle, but apparently not everyone agrees. These five athletes share with me some of the Canadian stereotypes they received when first moving to the U.S. This is what they said. Well, when I first came, some people were confused as to where Winnipeg was. They thought we had polar bears and they thought I lived in an igloo. Uh, someone once asked me if I celebrated Christmas or if that was just an American thing. And I also got asked if I knew what the Super Bowl was, and I do, so. Well, uh, someone asked me when I first got here also if I had a color TV. And I said, like, oh, I yeah, know. I have a color TV. Like, everyone has a color TV. I don't know why they th thought I didn't have a color TV. My roommate my freshman year, Darcy Tucker, a uh, good guy. Oh, right. great hockey player, too. Yeah. Um, he actually asked me if we have Christmas in Canada. <laughs> so I thought that was a pretty interesting one. Just the, the classic, like, oh, do you live in an igloo? Do you have a polar bear? And, like, the classic <laughs> stupid ones that everyone asks and think they're funny. <sighs> uh, definitely saying A and uh, out in a boat and that kind of thing. Um, it's mainly just my accent. When I first came down, it was, they said it was brutal. I mean, there's certain words that I would say or just, like, oh, my God, you know, that kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, definitely A, out in a boat, um, the igloo thing. Um, living in igloos, uh, eating blubber, that kind of thing. Um, I mean, hockey, obviously, as well. Um, but yeah, just, just those kind of things. Or, uh, yeah, I've gotten a lot of stupid questions, actually. Um, one time I got asked if I had cable, um, which I thought was rather shocking. But um, it's weird just like how we're so close to the Americans. But I mean, I guess you guys don't know a whole lot about our country. Um, but I mean, whatever. I get it. it's, it's all in good fun, so. Whether it's with a racket, stick, or bat in hand, each of these international athletes have been an impact on Bellarmine Athletics. Make sure you get out and support them as they compete in the remaining weeks of their seasons. For Bellarmine Sports, this is Olivia Reibel.